Mark, where's the coffee? I don't know. You drink it. Have you looked in the box? Uh, yes. No problem. I'll get some more. I'm not doing anything. It's all right. I'll go. Oh, I get it. What? What do you mean? You want to go to the shop, don't you? No, but I'm happy to go there. I'll enjoy the walk. <laughs> you want to go to the shop because then you can see Dave. <laughs> Mark, Dave is not the only thing in my life, you know. Right now, I want a cup of coffee. See you soon. Hi there. Hi. Excuse me, um, do you have any coffee? Sorry to disturb you. That's okay. I'm Mark. We're sort of next door neighbours. Sorry, what was that? My sister and I are in those tents next to you. Cool. I'm Rachel. Oh, hello, Rachel. So, Mark, what did you want? Oh, yes. Sorry. Um, do you have any coffee? We don't have any left. So, you're only staying here for two days? Yes. My mum's driving us back to London on Saturday. I'm going to a gig in the evening. Cool. So, where do you live in London? We're from North London. Camden, actually. Wow, that's amazing. We live in Camden too. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, here's Anna. Anna, this is Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Nice to meet you. Hi, Anna. Good to meet you too. Oh, you found some coffee, Mark. Uh, yeah. It's Rachel's, actually. Listen, I've got to finish unpacking. I'll see you both later, maybe. Yeah. Thanks for the coffee. No problem. She's nice. Yeah. I thought you didn't like coffee. Did you? No. It's OK. No problem. Let's take these boards back to the shop. So, what do you think, Rachel? Is surfing for you? It looks really cool. I'd like to try it one day. But, um, I should go and pack up the tent now. See you later. OK. Bye. Are you giving any more lessons today, Dave? No. I want to organise the shop. I want to change the way I'm displaying the surfing stuff outside. Really? Mark and I will help you, won't we, Mark? What? Oh, yes, 
Of course we will. Um, Dave? Yeah? Um, can you help me? Sure, Mark. What is it? It's just that I want to get Rachel's mobile number. She's leaving tonight and I'd like to see her again in London. But I don't really know what to say. Hey, Dave. Coming. How about the surfboards over there and the beach mats over there? Yeah, I like the idea, but what about the bodyboards? Here's another idea. Put all the big things at the back and the smaller stuff at the front. I'm not sure about that. I'd like to keep things together. OK. What do you think of the beach mats over here and the boards over there? Yeah, I think it's good. Let's try that. Mark. Yeah? I think it's really simple. The best thing is to be honest and direct, yeah? So why don't you just go and ask Rachel for her mobile number? Really? Isn't that a bit... You know. I mean, what if she doesn't like me? Don't be silly. I bet she likes you too. Do you think so? Go and ask her. OK. Where's Mark going? He'll be back in a minute. What do you think? That's it. I like it. Mark's idea was a good one too. I've put all the biggest surfboards at the back and the smallest at the front. Yeah, that works well. And I like having all the beach stuff over there in one place. But I think the bargain box is in the wrong place. <laughs> it's much easier to see it over here. You're right, as usual. Of course I am. What's going on? Where have you been, Mark? Oh, nowhere special, honestly. Well, you look very pleased with yourself. Oh, I know. It's something to do with Rachel, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> what makes you think that? That's strange. Your mother isn't usually late. I bet she's still shopping. I don't think so. You know what Mum's like when she's shopping. She's really quick. Try her mobile, Dad. It's off. That's odd. Where can she be? It's the first time we've come to this restaurant. Maybe she's got lost. But I gave her directions. Did you write them down? No. <laughs> well then. I think we should go and look for her. Do we have to? I mean, she'll probably get here in a moment. What do you think, Dad? Yes, let's go and look for her. Where do you think she'll be? That dress shop in the high street. There's a summer sale on. OK, if you and Mark go to the dress shop, I'll check the rest of the high street.
she isn't in the dress shop. No, and she's not in the high street either. That's weird. What's happened to her? I'm going to go to the car park. Maybe she's gone back to the car. OK. If you go there, we'll look near the cinema. There are some nice little shops Mum likes around there. See you back here in a few minutes, Dad. not working. <sighs> the battery's flat. I forgot to charge it. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, Dave. Hi, Sally. Are you all right? Sorry, I didn't recognise you. How do I get to Cross Street, Dave? Is it near here? It's quite near, yeah. Oh, thank goodness. I'm so late. Go straight on until you get to that shop with the green front. Yes. Take the first right, then the second left into Cross Street. I'm looking for the fish restaurant. Go past the bank and it's on your right, opposite the chemist. You can't miss it. It'll take five minutes. Oh, brilliant, Dave. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Enjoy your meal. I will. Thanks again. Bye. Any luck? No, no sign of her. I'm beginning to get worried. So, what do we do now? Let's go back to the restaurant. Look, there she is. Mum! Where have you been? You're so late. I've been here for ages. Where have we been? Never mind, let's go in and eat. I am starving. What's the problem? I don't know. The car won't start. I don't get it. The engine was checked before we came away and it's been running well since then. We'll have to call the garage. This means we can't go shopping. Why don't I ring Anna and Mark? Maybe they'll walk into town and do the shopping for us. Hi, Mum. What? Oh, no. Yeah, of course we'll help. No problem. See you. What was that about? The car won't start, so we're going to help. <laughs> How? I don't know anything about cars. They need to do some shopping, I think. I'll come too, if you like. Really? Yeah, well, I know a bit about engines. Thanks, Dave. The battery is probably flat. Do you want me to have a look at the engine? Yes, please. Could you hold this open for me? Yes, of course. Hmm. 
There's some oil there. Shall I clean it up? That's very kind of you. Thanks, Dave. Would you mind getting me a cloth or something? Sure. No problem. Anna? Got it. It's what I thought. You've got a flat battery. You'll need to have it recharged. That's very strange. I haven't driven the car for three days. It hasn't been used. Maybe the headlights were left on or something. Uh-oh. What is it? I think this could be my fault. How? Well, I've been listening to the radio all week. There's this really good new programme and... The radio has used up the battery. That's right. Sally! I'm really sorry. That explains it. We'll have to push the car to get it started. Are you all ready? Right, I'll drive. You'll all have to push. Thanks, Dad. Come on, everyone. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Are you ready, John? Yes, I'm ready. You can start pushing. One, two, three, push. Uh, and push. Uh, What's going on? John, can you check the brake? Oops. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. OK, try again. Ready, push. Don't stop. <laughs> I'll go to the garage and have it fixed. Thanks, Dave. Yes, well done, Dave. Thanks. I don't know what we'd do without you. Hey, I was pushing too. <laughs> I can't believe it's our last week. If only we didn't have to go home. I don't want to leave here. At least you'll be able to see Rachel again. Oh yeah, that'll be great. We should go on a last picnic. Great idea. Where shall we go? I know. How about Smuggler's Cove? Yes, if we went there we could go for a swim as well. That's decided then. A last picnic at Smuggler's Cove. Why don't we ask Dave if he'd like to come too? As a thank you for all he's done. What? Do you mean taking Anna for long walks? Shut up, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, what do you think, Anna? Cool. Will you invite him then? We'll go whenever it suits him. OK, no problem. He's probably down on the beach. I'll go and ask him now. Shall I come too? I can manage, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> So, do you fancy going on a picnic with the whole Benton family? <laughs> sure, why not? It'll be fun. How about going in the evening? Sure, why not? What are you doing tomorrow evening? I'm sorry, I can't. Not tomorrow evening. I'm busy. OK. What about the evening after? Wednesday evening? Sounds good. I'll see you on Wednesday. Great. We're going to Smuggler's Cove. <laughs> Excellent. I used to go fishing there. It's one of our favourite places. Oh, I wish we didn't have to leave. 
I could stay here forever. But what about London? Oh, I know. But I feel so relaxed here. <laughs> That's because you're on holiday? Hmm, maybe. Anyway, you can come on Wednesday. That's great. I'll go and tell the others. And see you later for some surfing. Yep. See you then. It's our last surfing lesson tomorrow. If only we could surf in London. If only I didn't have to go back to work. We'll miss you, Dave. And it'll be a lot quieter without all of you. <laughs> That's for sure. But anyway, I hope you'll all come back next year. I hope so too, Dave. It's been great. And thanks for all you've done for us. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Hey, no problem. It's been a pleasure, really. I'm going for a last look at the caves. Coming, Dave? Yeah, why not? I'd like a walk. It's all right, I'll stay here. <laughs> <laughs> She really likes Dave. Do you think he'll come to London to see her? I don't know. I think he likes her too. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe she'll stay in Cornwall. Really? What? No. Only joking. It's so sad, Bob. This is my last day at the cafe. I know. Where did you start? Four weeks ago. Four weeks? Seems a lot less than that. That's true. It must be fun working here. Um, there's something I wanted to ask you, Anna. Yeah? Do you have to go home tomorrow? How do you mean, have to? My family's leaving. It's the end of our holiday. Yes, but the thing is, you could carry on working here for two more weeks, if you like. I could even give you extra hours. So, I could stay on at the campsite and work here? Yes, if you'd like. I have to be back at college next month. Wow, um, I hadn't thought about this, Bob. It's a bit of a surprise. Can I think about it and let you know later? Yes, of course. Great, thanks. Shall I open up now? Yeah, we're ready to go. What's the matter, Anna? You look worried. Can I ask your opinion about something? Yeah, sure. What's the problem? Bob's offered me more work at the cafe. That means I could stay on for another two weeks. What do you think I should do? I think you should do what you want to do. That's the problem. I'm not sure, to be honest. Should I talk to Mum and Dad? Yeah. I would if I were you. Yeah. It'd be really good to stay, though. You'd be able to see more of Dave. Yes. I know this sounds silly, but I think I might be a bit lonely. It'll be really different without the rest of you. You'd be able to do more surfing. 
I don't know. It's really difficult to decide. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want to go, but I know I've got to. So I've just accepted it. Exactly. But I'm really tempted to stay. Hey, there's Dave. Hey, Dave! She must be in love. It's been a great holiday, but it's always good to get back, isn't it? That was a good journey too. We left Cornwall uh, six hours ago. Who's going to unpack all our stuff then? That's your job, Mark. I'm going to have a cup of tea. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's okay. I'll help you. So, do you still think you made the right decision? Yes. I think I did, actually. Holidays have to end. And, like Mum said, it's nice to be home. But you will miss Dave, won't you? Yes, of course. I'll survive. <laughs>